Good morning. We're so glad that you could join us today. And uh, happy Memorial Weekend to everyone. There's this time of year so many emotions that come out on this day and so um, many different feelings and memories that pop up. I want to, I hope that you'll indulge me as I want to read Psalm 77. I'm going to probably go through it a little bit fast, so if you don't catch it all, I encourage you to go back and read it on your own later today. But Psalm 77, and this is in the New Living Translation, it says, I cry out to God, yes, I shout, oh, that God would listen to me. When I was in deep trouble, I searched for the Lord. All night long, I prayed with hands lifted toward heaven, but my soul was not comforted. I think of God and I moan, overwhelmed with the, with the longing for his help. You don't let me sleep. I'm too distressed even to pray. I think of the good old days, long since ended, when my nights were filled with joyful songs. I search my soul and ponder the difference now. Has the Lord rejected me forever? Will he never again be kind to me? Is his unfailing love gone forever? Have his promises permanently failed? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he slammed the door on his compassion? And I said, this is my fate. The Most High has turned his hand against me. But then I recall all that you have done. O Lord, I remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. They are constantly in my thoughts. I cannot stop thinking about your mighty works. O God, your ways are holy. Is there any God as mighty as you? You are the God of great wonders. You demonstrate your awesome power among the nations. By your strong arm, you redeem your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. When the Red Sea saw you, O God, its waters looked and trembled. The sea quaked to its very depths. The clouds poured down rain. The thunder rumbled in the sky. Your arrows of lightning flashed. Your thunder roared from the whirlwind. The lightning lit, lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your road led through the sea, your pathway through the mighty waters, a pathway no one knew was there. You led your people along the road like a flock of sheep with Moses and Aaron as their shepherds. What we see here is what all of us tend to do at times. We moan and groan and forget the goodness of God. And we forget the good things that he's done. And we get fixated in all the things that have disappointed us. I was thinking about Memorial Weekend. And for many people, it can bring back really great memories of those who we have lost. And uh, what a time to reflect on those people and those memories and those things. But oftentimes, we forget to do that while they're still here and stir ourselves up. We get caught up in all the negative things and the disappointment of things that haven't gone our way. We get fixated by them. And as we know, what you focus on becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. My friend Amber posted this today on Instagram, and it says, pay close attention to what you choose to water because it's going to grow. And so often we get so fixated on the negative, and it grows and it grows. And I've been in counseling sessions and times of meeting with people where all they can talk about is the negative things that somebody's done in a relationship or their spouse or whatever, and they forget to remember the good things that have gone on. Now, no doubt, there are situations we find ourselves in that are toxic, not healthy. We need to cut ourselves out of it. But predominantly, the things that distract us are small, little offenses that we let grow and grow and grow. We're going to be celebrating our anniversary this week. And I look back on the first years that we were married, and I can get quite embarrassed because I was so fixated on what he wasn't doing and what I wanted him to do. And those Things just grew and grew and grew, and oftentimes I complained and complained and complained, and I'm so glad that I opened my eyes and my heart to the truth and remembered that who he is and how God's created him was a blessing to me. But so often we can get fixated on just the negative things. What we're reading there in that Psalms is what a lot of us can do, and we tend to do. We start going, where is God in the middle of our trouble? And we just think God has left us or he's worse yet, he's caused this to happen to us. And then we stop and remember, wait, nope, there's been times that I've gone through troubles before and he is there. He'll be there now. There are times he's rescued me that I didn't even acknowledge it. He'll rescue me again. He is that man, the Israelites, this is the story of the Israelites. 
Over and over and over again, they forgot the goodness of God. They forgot that he came and rescued them. And then they find themselves right back in the same situation, and they have to remind themselves all over again, I'm that way. I do that. I do that with my relationships, and I can get fixated on what somebody's not doing, and I fail to realize and honor what they are doing and the blessing that they are. Uh, a great mentor and wonderful leader in our faith died this past couple last week, I believe, and Ravi Zacharias was someone who I've learned so much from. But what I absolutely loved about his um, the last couple weeks and month of the process of they went public and said he probably was, wasn't going to make it long was people from all over the world started to send videos saying, thank you, Ravi, while he was alive. They started to show their appreciation while he was still here. And we can do that today for the people in our lives. We don't need to wait till then and then remember all the goodness. Every day we can stir up good thoughts and remind ourselves of the goodness of God, the goodness that's in people all around us. And yeah, maybe they don't do it the way I would do it. Maybe they don't say it the way I would say it, but there are good things. We need to stir up those thoughts inside of us. At the end of that, I was kind of caught this morning thinking about that at the end where he said, and Moses and Aaron were their shepherds. Here's the thing about God. He's constantly serving us. He's constantly rescuing us. He's constantly doing these things to bless us. And most often, we don't even give him the credit. He lets other people on earth take the credit. And we miss out on how often he lets us go, hey, I got my life together. And we don't even acknowledge the fact that he rescued us from a terrible situation. So stir up good thoughts today as we are pondering lots of things in our lives and remembering lots of people in our past. But let's also remember those who are in our present and the thing that maybe we might be getting tripped up on or the fences that we have, they're really just not worth it because he's just far greater and more merciful than we could ever give him credit for. Heavenly Father, I just thank you as we give up our tithes and offerings to you today. I think we do it with a grateful and, and a joyful heart for what you're doing around the world today. We're bombarded with news of negativity and things that just don't seem like they're going right, but you are still here. You are still active. You are still doing great things, and we're just honored and joy that we, joyful that we get to join in your cause and what you're doing around the world. So we give joyfully today, and we stir up good thoughts of remembering those who have gone before us and those who are in our midst, that, man, you are rescuing us, you're rescuing them, you're working in their hearts, you're working in mine, and I just thank you for all the good things that are taking place today. In your name I pray, amen.